We're gonna try to eat these things. I've never had squid, so I don't know how it's gonna taste. Well, I've had it like in a Asian restaurant where they cook it up, but they know what they were doing. I don't, I don't know how to cook it, but maybe we'll do a catch and cook, show you guys how to cook it, or us try to learn how to cook it. But yeah, it's fun. Burns your arms. I got a like a twenty dollar jig on with ten ounces. Dan's using this little cheap one in a banana weight. Hers was like two dollars. Mine was about twenty dollars. Hers is easier to reel in. And I think she's catching just as many, if not more than me. I think I haven't lost any. Actually, yeah, I did lose some. So I just it's, got one on. it's yeah, she's already hooked up. So three dollar one versus twenty dollar one. Three dollar one is taking the cake today. The bottom depth right now we're in 685 feet of water, so it's about 700 feet deep. I don't know how deep we're going down. I'd say 300 feet. I'm just judging by the line on my spool, but yeah, just drop it down there, wait a couple minutes, and then just. Set the hook, basically. Reminds me of crab snaring. I seriously think those little ones work better. Well, when you go to set the hook, you know, you got 300 feet of mono stretching. So the heavier it is, the more stretch there is. So mine's stretching a lot. Yeah. That little thing is not stretching there as much. Oh, this hurts. <laughs> it burns so bad on your forearm. Come on, where are you at, fish? Squid? Oh, ah, it came off. Darn it. I let it go. hooked up on another one. It's not even really like hooked up, it's, it's just like needles or something on there. There's no barb, it's not really a hook. It's just a glow-in-the-dark plug with a whole bunch of basically needles on it, V-shaped needles. You just drop it down every 30 seconds or so, set the hook, hope something's there. And you know when there is, it's heavy. My dang forearm on my left arm is going to be sore, so we're, you put them in the rod holders. It's a little bit risky getting slack in there, but uh, my forearms are on fire from reeling these things in. One of these days, here pretty soon, we'll have to do a video. We'll come out here, catch some squid, then try to upgrade, go out to some of the halibut grounds and. I want to send one of these guys down on the bottom alive pretty bad. So yeah, that's what we're catching. Good bait, man. I'd love to just stick a hook in that guy and send him back down and drift over my halibut spots. Woo! Can you imagine the size of the halibut that would catch? Oh yeah. I'm watching how much line's on my reel. That's how I know I, how I know how deep I am. I know there's about 200 yards on here, so I'm peeling off about half of it. So probably down about 300 feet. I'm just watching how much of a gap there is between the outside of the spool and to the line, and kind of going by that for reference to try to drop it to the same zone. You know, you can count how many passes back and forth or how many seconds, but I'm just watching the amount of line on my spool. And there's a pretty, you know, we're in Alaska, so there's strong currents too. 
So what I'm doing is I'm I'm kind of back bouncing or back trolling, you know. I'm using I got my kicker down here, my trolling motor. And I got it in reverse. And the wind's pushing this way towards the back of the boat. So I'm backing up into the wind and I'm trying to hold us. We're drifting really slow. We've probably gone 200 yards in 45 minutes, something like that. I'm not real sure exactly, but uh so all I'm doing is just using that motor holding us in place. That's what you hear running. And then just steering. I'm watching my line. If my line's, you know, out this direction, then I'm gonna point that motor that way, give her a little gas, and I'm trying to keep my line going straight down. So I'm just using the motor to keep me over the top of our jigs. Then wait a little bit, and then you just pull up on them like that, and you'll know if they're there or not. squid on and if you guys are wondering why the heck we're fishing for squid in Alaska well if you didn't see our last video then you don't know but uh king salmon are closed right now it's the middle of May we did some trolling earlier just making sure they're biting our stuff our gear but it you know it's catch and release you gotta let them go so we're stocking up on some bait because we can keep halibut. We can use these for bait for halibut. We can also eat them. We're gonna try to cook them up and eat them, see how that turns out. Probably get on the YouTube and look up some recipes. And the pink salmon aren't here yet either. So the more bait I can put in the freezer for the halibut trips coming up, the better, because we won't see pink salmon for another month and a half or so. So putting some bait in the freezer, some food on our plate. That's just, it's fun. Learning a new skill, I, I haven't done this before, so it's fun. This one feels pretty heavy. Hopefully that's the case. Oh, not the size they, we've been getting. Nice though. Pretty red. I wonder what type these are. Hmm. We'll have to look it up. That weighs. Well, probably eight pounds, something like that. That's crazy. I bet they'd bite the snot out of you. It's just some squid. Whoa. That's where the ink is. 
I think. Squidding. It looks black in there. They shoot it out their eyes? No, I don't know. That's how you make squidding po pasta. That's what someone will say. Can't believe those YouTubers. <laughs> I think I found it's ink. Jan says it's in the eye, around the eye, so. There's a eyeball, which they're kind of crazy looking too. And I think there's ink in there. He's, he's dripping ink from somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's getting all over me. I wonder if it's from me squeezing on their eyes. I don't know. Let's see if there's ink in there. Nope. It's water. I thought that was going to be ink. Should I eat it? Or if it's poison. Not gonna eat it. <laughs> I was like, I brought him up and he was already like skin. I don't know if they molt or what. Kind of weird. Too, like there's suction, it's almost like it, uh, it almost, it almost scratches you. It, it hurts. Cups on there. Actually, they might not be suction cups. It's, it's almost like, look, they got like little hooks on them. Yeah, it kind of scratches you. Yeah, like, like, ow. Yeah, they grab you and then they stick their little barbs in you and then pull you up to their beak. Yeah, look at that. So I thought they were had suction cups like an octopus, but there's like, there's like barbs on there's little suction cups. And he just grabs you and pulls you in and yum, 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 eats you. Like on those, you know, 60 footers or whatever, 40 foot huge giant squid. I bet those little barbs are like freaking knives. Oh, scary. I think that might be eggs. 